There goes my baby. What's up, Suker? We're back. What's going on, handsome? Just hanging out. Oh, uh, we're back. Another Just... great day, another great show. We are pumped, we are positive, and we are ready to get the night started. The Suki and Scott Show. This is one of the funnest shows I've ever done. It's musical. It's magical. <laughs> Oh, yeah. she's Someone's getting some action. These larger than life personalities are on an exciting new journey as they bring you the Suki and Scott Show. You guys have nailed it. You're great. You ask great questions. You listen. The Suki and Scott Show is your one stop destination for humor. You just got George's earwax all over your ears, bud. Entertainment. Oh, Jesse's girl! Wonderful! And optimism. You guys have such amazing energy. <laughs> Let's laugh together. I love him. The Suki and Scott Show. Yeah, baby. We laugh. We only laugh together, Suki. You never laugh alone. Suki, you all I could tell you is last night when you signed off I from 8 30. I saw the fight. 8 30 to 9 15. We had some kind of show going on, young lady. Award-winning uh, type stuff. I mean, this is what brings us together. This is what makes our show different than the rest, that we really respect our viewers. And we want our viewers to be a part of this conversation and not just like, you know, like when they always, they're always chiming in and they're always yeah. talking amongst themselves and we pride ourselves on that. But we want to know that they're special. They're special enough to be guests on our show. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, Suk, it was something else. And listen, you would have, Suk, if I would have said to you last night's show can't beat tonight's show because of who we had on, T.S. Monk, legendary, Legend. legendary jazz musician, plus uh, uh, Jessica, um, uh, what was her last? Jessica Michelle Singleton, Singles. yeah. comic. Um, listen, tonight, Suk, tonight tops last night, even. Listen, Vic D. Tony, Tony Clark is going to, no, that's tomorrow night. Tony oh, Clark is here tonight. <laughs> so don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> we got, we got a good show tomorrow night too. Tomorrow but night too. We got a good we show all night. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kate Flannery tomorrow night from the office. Vic yeah. D. Batetto tomorrow night. But tonight, listen, not only do we have master magician, Tony Clark, not only do we have the beautiful Emma Deckers, who's got a new movie out. She's going to be checking in from Holland, which it's like two o'clock in the morning. Um, we got the star of, uh, Chicago, the guy who played Billy Flynn, uh, Jerry Springer's on with us tonight. So Jerry's <laughs> checking in. Jerry, uh, Jerry, Jerry's checking in and Jerry's seeing the show. I mean, Jerry was one of the first guests that believed in this show and loved us so much. He was like, you know what? I'm going to come in. We had Suk, I don't know. Jerry tuning in. Yeah. I don't know if he believed in the show as much as we forced them to come on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but he did say, he did say, it looks like we have a much nicer set. Now we have a bi bigger budget for a bigger set. So he was very impressed. Uh, Eric is he, waiting. Hello. He's very ready to roll. Eric kid. Listen, Sue, before we do, we, we bring in Jerry, cause we got a jam packed show. I just wanted to run this by you today. So, so Colton came out as gay today, right on good morning America, because when you do it, you got to do it big. You got to do it on a national morning show to Robin Roberts, or it doesn't count. Do you feel, two-part two question, Okay. do you feel as a as someone, I, you used to watch The Bachelor, right? I you did, a bachelor and I watched this season. And I think, Scotty, he came on, pick, you know, on, on that morning show that we were on. Yes. Uh, and we might have actually interviewed him, if I might be correct about that. But do you feel like, as a watcher of the show, A, you kind of, you feel like you were robbed with him coming on, kind of not knowing what he knowing he wasn't really going to find a woman on the show. And B, do you think that fans, they're demanding a, a gay Bachelor season now with him as the Bachelor now? You think that should happen? I mean, listen, I think you if you're not your authentic self, and I think that sexuality is something that if you heard his, his, his interview with Robin Roberts, he was very frank about having a lot of self-loathing, hating himself, like, you know, did not know. He had a lot of identity crisis. So... For was he the one who ran and jumped over the fence? Yep. He like ran away and jumped yep. over the fence. Yeah, that would might be that that might be a thing, you know. <laughs> um, there could have been a clue, a clue. Yeah, a little clue, clue. Sure, but, sure. I mean, like, listen, I don't know. I, 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 I'm happy that he's happy because he thought about committing suicide, and mm -hmm. you know, he thought about doing a lot of self harm. So who wants that? You know, we want to all live our authentic life, right? Listen, um, God bless him. Yeah, like exactly like what you said. But you know what? 
I think we should have like, you know, whatever. I mean, I think the whole Bachelor series, if you really want me to tell you the truth about it. Go ahead, please. You have 15 <laughs> seconds. I was waiting for you to say, <laughs> uh, go ahead. Go ahead, I think Suki. The whole thing is stupid. Like women throwing themselves at this man, like, ah, oh, it seems so archaic right now, you know, in the world that we live in in 2021. <laughs> it's so provincial. Like, you know, it took us forever to finally get a bachelorette. Then we got a finally got a bachelorette of color. Then we finally mm -hmm. got a bachelor of color. That season was a fiasco. Suki, was there ever a Jewish bachelorette? Or a is there an Indian bachelorette? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it's so silly. The whole thing. I think that whole series needs to be blown up. Like, really. I know there are a lot of super fans, but like, it's over. It's All over, right. Johnny. It's over, Johnny. Listen, I mean, it's like, also, would you want your daughter like on that thing? No. I don't know if I, if I told you this, but um, I was asked for us to be presenters at uh, this big folio awards here yes. in the New York area for uh, for for news people, for for uh, Long Island news people. So I was asked if we wanted to be presenters. And of course, I said and spoke for the both of us and said yes. But I just saw a, a poster that came out about 20 minutes ago. Apparently, you and I are the the hosts of the show now. Oh my um, gosh, look at that. I, yeah, I haven't, uh, no one was, no, we weren't contacted about it, but I guess we're the hosts. So, um, well, you know, Scott, we actually presented one time prior, right? Where we, uh, yes. Yes. So uh, now we're hosting just without the uh, the chicken fricassee in person. <laughs> we're going to do it from our home. Instead and of we have to. The dais, we're sitting, yeah, the... <laughs> you know, right here. Right. Right. Okay. right with all the TV bigwigs. Um, I don't um, know why Rory Wright is saying there's a scammer on here. Ah, that's listen. Those are the ladies. They'll deal with that. They police the uh, the scammers they on our page. They so. police our interwebs on our, yeah, on our, on our interwebs. website. So, Suk, listen, again, one of our first guests when we we started this little journey about a year ago and we were just kind of, you know, goofing around, Jerry Springer came on. And from Jerry coming on and, and George Lopez that time, it, it kind of catapulted us to having other celebrities come on, which now we can't stop the show because everybody's flocking to it. We can't stop the show now if we wanted to. So Jerry um, gave us the crazy, the fun, the unexpected. Yes. And George Lopez gave us the credit, you know, like yes. he gave us the credit. <laughs> Absolutely. And so, so, you know, you know, Jerry for, uh, you know, a quarter century was doing a Jerry Springer show, which was absolutely phenomenal. It's a huge show. Uh, and now he's, he's Judge Jerry. And he, two years ago, they came out with Judge Jerry. And, uh, you know, it's a, a courtroom show, which is much different than any other you used to. And, and already it's in their third season because, you know, anything Jerry touches turns to gold, right? He's got the Midas touch. So we're going to bring Jerry in. Here's a little a little taste of uh, Judge Jerry, and then we'll bring in uh, the main man on the other side. Take a look. Yes. Oh, who's the little kid? Who's the kid with no shirt on, Soup, before Jerry Springer comes on the show? How dare Jeff? Jerry, I apologize, Jerry. No, I, this I'm, is unbelievable. I, I'm used to that. I, I should, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, babe, how you doing, pal? Oh, it is great. It is great to see you guys. I, it was nice of you to say that uh, I've got the Midas touch. Absolutely. It's true. Everything I touch, everything I touch turns into a muffler. It's a muffler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, you still got the one-liners too. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll be here all week. Jerry, I'm, listen, I'm. I love that you guys are doing great. Honestly, oh. I mean, I would support anything you guys do just because I like you so much. But uh, anyway, it is great. And I sh I'm not at all surprised that you're successful. So uh, good. Keep it up. Jer, Thank since you, you've been on, it's, you know, 140 shows later with just entertainers, performers, celebrities. But I want to be honest with you. Listen, the real the real reason we wanted you to come back on, not because of the Jerry Springer show. What, you need some money? What? <laughs> that will. That, that you want a loan? Yeah. <laughs> It not 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 Judge Jerry, but I, we really just wanted you back on to sing some more Elvis, man. That was oh, really that oh, was our favorite part. Oh, I had forgotten that you yeah. sang Elvis, and you well, know what? You played the best of because of that, <laughs> yeah, right? You yeah. made our fantastic flashbacks, Jeff. Oh yeah, I yeah I do. That's my go-to when when a party's dying. I get up. <laughs> And I start singing. Oh, come on, Jerry, give us a taste. Give us. Yeah, a listen, Jerry, let's start out with Elvis and then we'll go from there. Go ahead. Oh, love me tender. Love me true. Never let me go. Oh, my darling, 
I love you, and I always will. Oh, love me tender. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, thanks for coming on, bud. We'll talk to you yeah. soon. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> you all come back now, you hear? You come back now, you hear? Oh, man. oh, Jerry, Jerry, how have you been, Jerry? So busy. The last time you were launching this show, and now look at it, you're in the third season? Yeah, yeah, really. I'm, ex I'm really excited about it. I honestly, this is the only job I've ever had that I was trained to do. You know, <laughs> I went true. to school. You know, I'm a lawyer, so I yeah. went to school for that. Every other job just was handed to me. I've been incredibly lucky, and uh, it worked out. But this is – so I'm comfortable doing this. I, I enjoy this. Jer, what? Plus, what? Yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You can no, go. I was Plus just going to say uh, – NBC is saving on their clothing allowance because I, <laughs> all they do is give me a robe. I, they a don't robe? buy me suits anymore. They don't buy me shirts. You look Ridiculous. dashing, by the way. You really look like yeah. Really you look look at you. Good. You look oh, like a judge. Man. You should see my shoes. <laughs> Jared, doing this yeah, for the what's last in the robe, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the <Not> last much. <laughs> <laughs> last couple I'm of seventy-seven. Years. What do you think? <laughs> The guy forgot his pants. Um, Jer, what have you what have you learned about being a judge in the time that you've actually become one? Like, I mean, is it, it you know just making decisions? I know it's it's mostly small claims type of cases, right? But but what have you learned about it? Is it harder than it looks? Is it easier than it looks? What you know? What have you the, taken the away? Difficult. From the difficult part, at least for me, is it's it's pretty clear usually. What is the morally right answer? You know, who is morally justified? Mm -hmm. But you have to somehow, I have to fit that in what the law is in their particular state because the def these people come from 50 states. Mm -hmm. So I have to apply the law of this f from their state. And sometimes what is morally the right thing is not necessarily technically legal. Mm -hmm. And I struggle with that. And for me, that has been the, the hardest part. But otherwise, every job I've had has dealt with non-famous people dealing with some conflict. The other <laughs> show was crazy, but the yeah, conflicts, <laughs> yeah, but the conflicts were real. In other words, they were ticked off that the girlfriend was dating another guy. Right. So their emotion was was real. Now we may call it small claims, or you know, it's not earth shattering, but for them at that moment. It's a big deal. Yeah, it matters. It matters. I mean, yeah. it's all, you know, what's Think important the to you things that get you upset. You know, yeah. if your next door neighbor is doing something to your property or something, it just gets on your nerves. And remember, if you go to small claims court, you're really angry. Otherwise, who would bother? Right, right. It's not like it's going to make you a millionaire. Mm -hmm. You go to small claims court because you are ticked off and you've like some resolution that justifies your position. Are you having fun, Jerry? Life is fun. Yeah. <laughs> I got it better I, than I just, you, Jack. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, every every day, I, yeah, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm ha <laughs> Look at I'm him. Ha so he's got no pants on in this shot. You can I know, tell. I know that. Look he's at the smile there. on his face. Boy, that <laughs> is going to drive drive up viewership. <laughs> Jerry, hey, are you watch not? tomorrow. He's going to lift the robe. So wait, are you guys, with everything that's going on with the current climate, you know, COVID, are you guys – virtually taping or tape how are you doing that now well I'm glad you answered you asked that uh the first year the plaintiffs and defendants were in the courtroom i mean mm -hmm. everyone was there with a with right. a uh, in the gallery there was a real audience last year because of covid last season i was in the courtroom in connecticut as was uh naji the bailiff but the plaintiffs and defendants they were in other parts of the country wherever they lived and but when you watched it at home, you can't tell that they're not there. It's not like we're doing this now and we're each in a in box. box. Yeah. Through the technology, when the camera uh, scanned around, you saw the back of the courtroom behind them. So you could swear they're in the courtroom with me, even though they're in Phoenix, Arizona or Spokane, Washington or wherever, Atlanta. They were from all over. So last year we did it uh, remotely. Uh, but this year, 
uh, it's, uh, now we're going to have them coming back into the courtroom that, uh, you know, we use the protocols that are necessary for COVID, but they will be in the courtroom. That's great. Jerry. And listen, you know, uh, the Jerry Springer show, that was that was 27 years. Yeah. 27 years. And I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, I, who I can the culture. <laughs> This, look, I think, was I'm part of your 20th year in a tuxedo, and look yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> Have they no respect? I think that was your 25th anniversary show, Jerry, right? Yeah. Like when you had the tux go, look at you. Oh, I hated <laughs> that. That particular show, I hated. How? Why? <laughs> Duh. Uh, oh, oh, you I hated it. it. I loved it. Well, are those are those guys standing next to you or those girls? Oh, maybe they didn't tell me. I thought they were girls. <laughs> You're gross, Scotty. Stop it. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. Listen, uh, um, how's your grandson? Because I always like getting an update on how Opa, which is your... your yeah. You oh, your you, are so you are so sweet to ask. Uh, Richard is doing great. He is. He's already five foot six inches tall. How he's old only is Richard? 12. He's 12? He's 12? He's five, six. And he, yeah. And he's marvelous at baseball. In other words, he's on a... <laughs> Bless you. And he's on a travel team. And uh, he, bless you again. Check her, please. Sorry. Somebody take her temperature. <laughs> yeah. Allergies. Allergies. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he's doing great. He's doing great in school. He's uh, it, it, Baseball is his love. And uh, he's really, really, really good. You know, I hope he makes it because I'd like to be able to retire and he can support the family. <laughs> I've had it. I love it. I love it. And Jared, you know, like, listen, you, you have, you, you've done so many things between the Springer show, the judge, Jerry, you were in Chicago. Um, you were hosting a baggage on the game show network, right? You've done, you've done it. You were a mayor at one point. What was anything as hard as doing this for you? Oh gosh. Was this the gosh. hardest thing you had to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh and, and 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 i brought that outfit from home <laughs> oh, so you really own that outfit huh oh that uh, actually it was uh yeah it was obviously difficult for me but it was very uh it was a great challenge i mean i kind of enjoyed it because for me it was a stretch a real stretch i was right. totally out of my comfort zone it's interesting. I'm never nervous in front of an audience, but when you have to dance, oh, that, that's got to be crazy. That makes you nervous. Yeah. I really was. I, I could never understand because I've just, you know, been in front of a microphone forever. So I don't get nervous about that. But and that, that was the first time. I mean, it was like I was a little kid again. My yeah, heart wow. was pounding, particularly the 30 seconds before you go out there. I could because imagine. it's live. And you're, before th and you're in front of 30 million people who think you're going to fall and fail anyway. And then they say 30 seconds and you're backstage. And I'm looking at Kim and, and Kim says, don't worry, this will be OK. And I'm going, I forgot all the steps. What do I do? <laughs> no, no. And uh, but we, yeah, we lasted a long time. So it, uh, it was wow. great fun. Wow. See, that's my part that I would think like, oh, my gosh, should I get the steps? Do I have the steps in my head? That would be that would be the thing for me. Like, did I get it? Is it you, there? I, I am right with you. That was the scary part. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to win on form. It wasn't like, oh, if I don't do this well, we'll lose. <laughs> it was. I don't want to in the middle of the dance suddenly stop because I don't remember where we were. You know, when you're at a you know at a wedding or a class reunion and there's a band playing. And you go out there and you do the cha-cha and everyone does <laughs> With the everybody same. else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And everybody does that. And if you miss a step, big deal. And you just keep repeating. But when they choreograph these dances for you at uh, uh, Dancing with the Stars, no step is ever repeated. In other words, if you miss a step, you can't then pick it up unless oh you know God. where the music is. <laughs> Jesus. You know, you're totally lost then. Right, right. Oh, I'm, I'm getting nervous just talking about it. Yeah, you, and you just have to smile and let your partner keep going. He's having oh. a flashback, Jerry. Jerry's having a flashback right now. Um, Jerry, we just had um, WrestleMania last weekend. Yes. And I've, I've been there for 12 years now and still going. I remember... Uh, one of my favorite moments was ah. you on Monday Night Raw with the Bella Twins. Yeah. They brought you. They brought you in to settle a family dispute. Yeah, and uh, you really you seem to really enjoy yourself. That's that's the live crowd you like to be in front of. Yeah, that that was great. I'll tell you. But then they picked me up 
and they threw me down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you still have that picture. There, there you, you go. go. I was down. And the Bella twins threw me down and they were on top of me. And all I remember is turning my head and saying, you've got 20 minutes to get off me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't stay a while. That's yeah. so funny. Oh, was but, great. And then they wheeled me out on a, you know, in a football game, sadly, if a, a player gets hurt, the car, and then they yeah. wheel him out on the stretcher. And as he's being wheeled out, he do, does the thumbs up. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what they did with me. They put me on a stretcher. And in this whole arena, 20,000 people there sure. as they're wheeling me out. I'm lying there like this and I put up <laughs> my thumb. And they were chanting Jerry, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, was, oh, I that remember that. It was so great. Oh, I was that like, was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, they, that was great. Did you know you were going to get thrown down or no? They, they, they just said they didn't choreograph it. Right. Just uh, be prepared. They said be prepared. And I, and I said to them at the time, I think I was 73, and I, and I said backstage, I said, seriously, I'm 73. Stuff that you think is funny could really kill me. <laughs> so they said, don't worry, we got you. So when they threw me, uh, two things. The, the um, ring that you're in, it gives. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not solid. It's kind of like being on a uh, trampoline. Yeah, it's a little bounce. So, so it's a little bounce. And secondly, they ease your fall. I mean, they're very good at how they do it. Oh, so they so grab nice. you underneath. And as you're coming down, you know, they've got an arm underneath. So <laughs> they didn't kill me. But You mean they didn't have an arm right by your tuchus just to give you a little squeeze <laughs> Okay, well, maybe one or two squeezes, <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> oh, uh, hey, look, he's a, you got other him nervous. That, <laughs> yeah, one or two. That's a one or two. Deal. Yeah. One or two. And actually, Everybody's got a complaint. And the Bella girls just got inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame this I weekend. Know. Yeah, yeah. And that may have been her finest hour. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any regrets in your career? Well, yeah, I want that. <laughs> when Jerry was uh oh, listen, man. I have a quick Jerry since you know since the 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 Jerry Springer show has taken kind of a back seat to uh judge Jerry, I put together a quick five question multiple choice quiz for you and Suki to play that oh. has to do with your show. Okay. All right. I think it'll be fairly easy. Um so for example, it's multiple choice. See if you can get them. You guys kind of collaborate on these, Jeff, because I know you've oh, done. Oh, okay. So we're not against each other. We're not against each team. other. Well, no, you, uh, buddy, Suki, he's done thousands of shows. You don't, you don't remember them all. So here's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not a title on the Jerry Springer show. A, baby mamas hit the streets. B, my boyfriend turned out to be a woman. Hmm. C, I'm in love with my girlfriend's mother, hmm. or D, the plight of the homeless in America. <laughs> Which one's probably not a title on the Jerry Springer show? So, t t take a guess. I say D. Jerry, you agree with that? Uh, actually not. We did a series early on of the uh, <laughs> the mole people, <laughs> the, peop the homeless people that oh, live in the tunnels in New York in City? In the tunnels. We actually did a series. On the Jerry of, Springer show? Yeah, the early years. Wow. In the early years when we still did some serious stuff before we turned it into a total circus. All right. And we did a five-part series on it. So, uh, Well, then the answer would be none, I assume, because I didn't oh, realize that. you were ready that. to go with me. You <laughs> I was ready for you had me. I was I ready thought, to go with <laughs> I thought that was a give me. No, we did the mole people. You could, you could, if you Google it uh, on the old Jerry Springer show, do the, the mole people. I think wow. that was the title of it. But it was the the people that live on the subway tunnels of New York. Oh, All yeah, right, the different levels. Hope yeah, I and I think like Dateline must have copied you guys after that. Well, yeah. I cha I changed the question to probably not a title on the later Jerry Springer shows. Oh, okay. Um, here you go. All right, which won't you see on the Springer set? Rusty pipes, ventilating fan, desk and couch, bare and aged brick walls. Oh, that's easy for me. Sook? I say rusty pipes. No? <laughs> no, desk and couch. There you go. Oh, Nicely desk. done, Jerry. But, because but Jerry, the background... wait, wait, wait. In the later ones, didn't you have a yeah, place the pipes where you up on the sit ceiling. down? No, not, no. Not a desk and couch, babe. No desk. No, you're mixing me up with Jay Leno. Yeah. No, 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 no. I feel like there was a place where you went, like in a corner somewhere. That was to do his final thought. Oh, that's yeah. I and the then, I'm on a, then I'm he's, on a. Then I'm on. He's on a stool. Oh. 
I'll right send you. I'll send you all the tapes. Yeah, all the tapes. Sir. Five thousand shows. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Show, showing up at your front door. Probably not a subject on the Jerry Springer show. Not a subject. Hookers, okay. home wreckers, obesity, makeovers. All of the above. Probably not a subject, Sue. Not a subject. Hmm. Oh, uh, that would be makeovers. Nicely done, Jer. Nicely done, my friend. You know your show. Uh, two more to go. Let's see how you do on this one. When a guest on Springer says they're a dancer, stripper, or other... The crowd usually yells, A, no way, B, let's see, C, Jerry, Jerry, or D, you suck, you suck. Which would it be? Jerry, do you remember what it is? I think. Uh, if it's a dancer, a stripper, a rapper. It's either, it's either no, it, it, it's it's either uh, B or C. I, I think probably Jerry, Jerry. Uh, well, if they're a stripper, they may yell, let's see. Yeah, it could be B. Nicely done, my friend, Soup. They never yelled, you suck, you suck. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's only when the show's over and I get off the stage. They come up to me. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> All right, here's the last one. Last one. Here we go. Yeah. This is a false Jerry Springer show title. Which one is the false title? I got your sister pregnant. I'm taking your man. Brothers, bras, and broads. Or I'm sleeping with all six of your sisters. Which one is a false Jerry Springer title? Well, I I don't remember the last one. D. Uh, six sisters. I I feel like we're on. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Jerry working out the question. Can I? Can, can I call? Yes, can, can, yes, can I call a friend? Yeah. She's one of the sisters. If I could just call. Her. <laughs> <laughs> the no, answer, there were only five it is indeed correct i'm sleeping with all six sisters you did have a title called i'm sleeping with all three of your sisters yeah so that's i more, changed yeah. it to six yeah six is just <laughs> absurd yeah see we wouldn't do that oh uh, no what are you crazy we do have standards for gosh sakes oh i love it yeah listen man you are the when you were in Chicago, real quick, before I let you go, when you were in Chicago, I'm sure you sang a, a lot of songs in that in that show, right? Uh, Billy Flynn, you, you sang? or oh, mostly? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were. Re yes. I oh, I meant, yes, Chicago, the Broadway show. I thought you show, meant sorry. when we did the show in Chicago <laughs> all those years. Oh, no, yeah, in the musical, uh, yeah, I had three songs i think what three was four. what was give, give me like give us like 30 seconds of your favorite song from chicago uh well uh do you remember them at all hardly uh i mean i don't remember all the words anymore it was 12 years ago um uh, oh i don't care about expensive things oh all i all i really care about is love that all was right, go one ahead. of them go ahead but i don't remember the words oh you can't sing it no, you. I already gave you Elvis. Ah, come you on. Can't yeah. oh, you can't afford to pay. But you can't afford to pay the rights. To he's the he's songs singing that I when sing. you're rejet, you're rejet, you're rejet all the way. For... By the yeah, way, Jeff, something Chicago. Something right I'd like to take to your small claims court. Something I'm a little ticked off about. Um, somebody you know very well uh, got engaged the other day. Oh, um, Sarah, are Sarah, you serious? Sarah Page got engaged the other day. I don't know if she told you about it. I she hope I'm not. She did not. I uh, can't she believe said I'm breaking. Was she was going to be away on vacation for a week. Oh, I'm breaking the news to you right now, Jim. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Oh, wonderful. How and Jason, lucky is her feet. Her Jason? fiance, Jason Spiewak, is uh, he's a, a guy who gives us a, a lot of uh, musical talent Isn't that it? comes on our show. Well, then he'll book me for sure. He's, yeah, he'll book you on this show again. And he's oh, also oh. a great musician. And I'm just, I'm unhappy because I've always had a crush on Sarah. And I'm just, I'm really ticked off now that the two oh, of them are engaged. I but am so happy for her. Oh, I had a fake, I had a fake great. congratulations. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, she can be on the show. That's true. And I told them, we were, I was talking to Jason today. I said, you guys, you should have <laughs> asked her to marry you on our show. It would have been amazing. <laughs> Yeah. I would have I would have objected to it, but <laughs> yeah, no, but that is great. Oh, congratulations! All right, Jerry. Listen, so when when she tells you, pretend you didn't know, because I didn't. I thought you knew about that. So just tell her. Tell oh her no, you. no, no. She, I, I don't think anyone in the show knows. 
Unless she said, please don't tell Jerry. <laughs> oh, great. I just blew the whole thing for her. But anyway, uh, okay. Jerry, listen, Judge Jerry, when can we see you during the week here in, New in the New York area? Uh, oh, uh, I think it's it could be 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock or 12 Weekdays, right? OK. Oh, it's, yeah, it's Monday through Friday. Check your local listings, everybody, because we yeah, have honestly, viewers all the, over the country. Yeah, because we're in every city in the country. So uh, honestly, I don't remember which. But I know it's in the morning. All right. It's, uh, it's the morning. Yeah, we love you, pal. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, you know, listen, keep going. Just keep going until they, you know, pull you out of there when you can't do it anymore. You too. And I'll we send you a picture, you know, when my day's come, day comes, you know, the black. <laughs> I want to send you a picture that you use. Okay? You know, I don't want to give you the right to use any picture. I want yeah, the, no. rest, the picture you use where they put 1944 dash whatever year it is. Yeah. Well, hopefully I that's not too, nice soon, that's not too soon. That's not too soon, Jerry. And on. if you could, if Great. you could make my nose smaller in the. Uh... Jerry, this is gonna picture they're gonna use right there. Oh, bud. why? There you go. That's your shot right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, well, they could use this one. What ah. do you go with this? <laughs> Wow, look at you, Jerry. Oh, my gosh. Huh? Look at you. Oh. You're still weekdays at 11 for the last 100 years. It's unbelievable. Oh, it is weekdays at 11. Okay, good. Yeah. I knew Jeff, thank you, my man. We love you, pal. Love you guys. Take Bye. care, bud. Jerry Springer, everybody. Ah, <laughs> uh, Soup, the best. He is the best, oh, right? Makes That's me laugh. So I didn't know. Congratulations to Jason. And I, congratulations. Yeah, right. You believe that? They got engaged just the other day. They put it up on Instagram, so I figured it was, you know, public knowledge. I guess I just broke the news to Jerry. <laughs> I guess Jerry's not on Instagram. Sarah's going to She could be like, I was going to tell him you're killing me. Ah, uh, Sook, unbelievable. Well, listen, we still have a lot more show to go, my friend. You know, having just Jerry on would have been enough, I think, no? Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, listen, our next guest is coming on from Holland, Suki. She's way across the pond. I think it's like one, two o'clock in the morning there. You and I would be dead asleep by then. Yes. Um, uh, what do we got? What's the name? What's the name of the hamster? Theodore. Uh, where's the little shirtless kid? I want him to come through again. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Did you see him run away when he was yeah, like, yeah. He's like, ah! Tell him I said a sit up or two wouldn't hurt every once yeah, in a right? while. <laughs> Listen, uh, Emma Deckers has a new movie out uh, called All About Sex, Sook, right up our alley. And it's uh, it's a very salacious movie. When you take a look at a trailer, you're going to be like, whoa. Um, take a look. Emma's coming up on the other side. Watch. Ah, there he is, Tony ladies and gentlemen. Clark Magic. How are you guys doing? Really Tony, how are you, Tony. buddy? Hey, this is very interesting because Jerry Springer, we have a connection, Jerry Springer and I. Oh, okay. He his show is shot in my hometown, Stanford, in Stanford. Connecticut. Stanford, Connecticut. Yeah, really. yeah, and they literally saved that theater. It was called the Stanford Theater. Never made yeah. it. They turned it into a TV studio. The Jerry Springer and some other shows. Maury Porter. Yeah, Steve, Steve Wilco, Maury. Yeah. And now so anyway, so, so I was like, oh, that's cool. Stanford, it's a little bit of a Stanford <laughs> vibe going on. And it. listen, I'm up there every week for WWE, Tony. So we have oh, that are? connection as oh, well. Yes. Nice. <laughs> WWE yeah. right there too, right? Great town. Great town. Yeah. How are you, my man? What's going on? Well, I'm in LA. You know, it's beautiful. Uh, just trying to get through this COVID thing and uh, doing a lot of virtual stuff like everybody else. <laughs> so uh, we're just learning, you know, it, it's, it's weird. The year started great. I got the trophy from, you know, Penn & Teller. Yeah, right. And I shot that on the 13th of March. Literally, the day later, they started shutting the doors in Vegas. Oh, like, yeah. oh my God. So I made it by the skin of my teeth. So at least it's, the year started good, and then it took a turn, <laughs> a slight turn. Oh, man. It's a good way to, you know, it was, it was a good accomplishment. It was fun. Unbelievable. Yeah, and listen, now, man. You know, you back up, right, Tony? Like, we got to stay positive yeah, yeah, absolutely. about this. So, you know, we're going to get You got to keep going. moving. And, you know, thankfully with magic, I could play with it, you know, and work on it myself. It's like a, a therapy, really. You know, uh, magic is, you know, amazes me when I do it sometimes. It's just like. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell yeah. just happened, Scotty? I don't know. I... Look, you can't you can't ever blink away. Otherwise, you miss it. I know. I, I looked away for half a second, Tony. Right, and it Tony, you gotta go wait, 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 come on. Go back, Scotty. Forget about you. Put, us, put Tony up full. Let him do All some right, magic. Look, All look, right, go ahead. I'll, I'll do something. Like the thing with COVID now, you know, we haven't performed live in a, quite a long time. 
So the thing with magic is you always have to stay practiced. So I'm going to break the rules and do something that I love, but I haven't done in a while. Okay. okay. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a very basic effect. And I, I did this when I was really young. It's a, it's a rope trick, solid piece of uh, rope, cotton rope. And uh, simply you just take the two ends, you have them here. You take the middle, which is here. You bring it to the top right here. Now watch, I'm going to cut this. You can see it. I'll show you. Look. It's really cut. See, now we have, how many ends do we have now? We have, how many ends total? We have four ends now, right? Four we have one, two, now. three, four, four ends, right? So I'm gonna take one end and bring it here, one end and bring it here, and then, wait a minute, jeez. See, I, I didn't do this for a while, I forgot. I gotta start all over again, I'm sorry. Let me start all over again. <laughs> um, I, oh, I got it, I got it now. Come on, that, that's sorry. Like, that's I'll do it again. I, it's embarrassing on TV. You know, I was like, hold on a second. All right. Um, okay, here we go. I got it now. I'm back on track. <laughs> That's insane. Take the rope. You cut it. Ah, I forgot. Take a few pieces off the top. Take the end, pull it to the side. Oh, see, I get, I forgot again. I'm so sorry. I, I don't. <laughs> All right, one last try. One last gonna, try. I probably keep, keep, just keep cutting it, Tony. It's got to until there's one nothing last try. left. Look, guys, Scott and Suki, look, one last try. I promise it's embarrassing. And you guys deserve better than this. Look, so we're, there it is. I know, I know what I forgot. The most important thing, I forgot to take the middles and tie them into a knot like this. Good. Just like that. The knot should be in the middle. Wait a minute, see? No, the knot is not in the middle, actually. <laughs> The knot should be over here. What? No, 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 I'm sorry. The knot should be on this end over here, I think. You know what? Forget about the knot. Forget about the trick. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Don't forget the city. You, know, you got to stay practiced, man. You got to stay practiced. You can't that get secrets. Otherwise, the trick goes south, you know. Like wow. That. You know what I love, Tony? When when you look at your, your YouTube page, yeah. Um, you do a lot of stuff where you actually show people how the tricks are done, right? You have like, you, you show them how to do it. You show them how it's done, how they could do it. Right. Um, different gimmicks that you have. I know you had this little briefcase thing that was a. a yeah, I manufacture. I, I manufacture products. Um, yeah. I've always done it all my life. Because, uh, you know, it's interesting. Growing up at Stanford, my parents are immigrant Italians. They, you know, my father worked three jobs. My, my mother was a homemaker. We had three boys. We had no money to buy magic, really. They didn't know magic. We need magic. We need to buy shoes, not magic, right? <laughs> so I learned how to make my own stuff wow. as a necessity. So now, cut to 30, 40 years later, I have my own product line, TonyClarkMagicStore.com, and I sell products that I create and make myself. I have v DVD downloads now. It's all downloads. DVDs are gone. Uh, but yeah, that's so we out of necessity created products. So I, I continue to do it. And I enjoy, I enjoy the, you know, I enjoy making this stuff, you know, I, I really incredible. enjoy it. So, uh, but oh, um, here, this is the one I created. I'll show you one I created uh, okay. a little while ago. This is kind of cool. TonyClarkMagicStore.com. Um, yeah, I'm at TonyClarkMagicStore.com. That's where you find all my stuff that I created and sell and all that good stuff. And they're right now. Uh, yeah. Great. yeah, I have it going across the bottom, too. We'll leave it up. All right, yeah, what's this? You. What are we doing now? Okay, this is cool. This is like two half dollars. I have two silver half dollars. Now watch closely. What does that equal? Two half dollar equals what, guys? Uh, 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 one dollar. One dollar. dollar, Tony. Very good. But I'll prove it to you. It's a dollar. Look, I'll do it very slow. Very slow, oh very slow, very slow, very slow, very slow. Wow. Wow. That's unbelievable. So good. It's like you saw a change to a dollar in the middle of the game. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> now, wild. the thing with magic, people get confused with what is a, uh, a visual, uh, uh, optical illusion and an illusion. It's very close, but uh, do you guys know the difference? Well, it's very similar. Very similar. It's hard to no, – I'm going to explain to you how it works. Go ahead. We have no idea. We're, we don't want to mess that up. <laughs> now, an illusion, an optical illusion is fooling the eye. It's really happening. Okay, that's an optical illusion. Like, for instance, let me give you an example. I have a deck of cards. So I take one card. If I put it close to the lens, look what happens. It gets really big. Right. But it's really an optical illusion because the card is the card. And my right, head, right. Look, I can make my head almost disappear, but that would be a really good illusion because my head's really big, but we'll try. <laughs> so there's the optical illusion. 
the illusion now, I'll show you now, watch these. I'll create an illusion with the rest of the deck of cards. Check it out. Look, create the illusion. Watch. Whoa. <laughs> See, that is an illusion. That's not an optical illusion. This is the optical illusion, but that's the illusion. Look, we'll do, we'll do it one more time. Check it one more time. Look, one more time. Oh, my gosh, Scotty. <laughs> Oh, they're getting smaller, so. Holy moly. That's an illusion. Do it one more time. I don't have to go anymore. They're going to be gone. Look at this. Wow, Scotty. <laughs> That's great. Wait, one more time. I don't know. Can we try, guys? Can we try one more time? You yeah, do it. Tic Tac size. Oh, my gosh. You can't be Tic Tac size. Look at this. Oh wow! Yeah, see it. Look, that's unbelievable. Look, wow! <laughs> they say this lens is supposed to focus, and it works pretty good. This yeah, wow! Camera I got. Look, look, it's so tiny. Look, it's so tiny. A little mini deck of cards. That's an illusion. That's a different now. Uh, the only problem. Wait a minute. That's the problem now. It doesn't fit in the deck. But if I just if I do this, watch, watch. Put that in. Now it's in. Put it inside the box. And that's the perfect illusion. Oh my God. Not bad? That is unreal. Not bad for the Italian kid from Stanford. Yeah, from Stanford. From Italian oh Stanford. You know, my name Clark is not my real name, but Clark is a stage name. But um, not You're bad. Blowing our Clark. audience away. It's They're really loving it. They're crazy. loving it. So listen, were, were you on, like, were you taking this magic all around? Were you touring prior to everything happening and shutting Yes, down? I am so grateful. I. I was I traveled the world for 20 years from uh, 88 for 20 years for you know it's just I traveled around the world because so I did my original act was a bird act with birds doves fire I did card manipulation you know on stage um, wow. and I was able to do it around the world because I did a silent act with music so I traveled all over the world for almost 20 years straight. And that was great then. It was so much easier to travel then, you know. The 9-11 hit made it harder. So yeah. I'm grateful I did it when I did it. Uh, so now I do more I consult for TV and film projects. Uh, I just did one for uh, True TV last week. So wow. it sort of in, uh, sort of happened in uh, July to air it. I did pilots for NBC. I worked with, you know, some of the best actors, John Malkovich. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So it's 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 I love that, you know. That, so – I'm able to do all this kind of stuff and I teach and I give lectures. So it's like the world of magic is more than what people think. It's not just doing tricks. You know, it's a lot of stuff, consulting and, and, and learning and teaching. So I'm, I'm very fortunate to be able to have my hands in all that. And I like the variety of it. Yeah. Cause I did a show. I did a long running show years ago, up in Tahoe, a four year running show. And it was exhausting. You know, I did, but back then we did two shows a night, six nights a week. Wow. Uh, and it was great. Changed my life. But uh, I learned like uh, maybe I don't want to do all that all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Some guys love it; it's not my thing. But I'll do a one week run, two week run here and there. Tony, I, I read you had like a, a guest spot on the Bachelorette. Did they have you come on to do yeah. to do magic? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They had us. They shot at the castle, and they wanted me to do some magic for the, the guys. You know, right. the girls staying back then. Uh, it's a long time ago. But uh, I did magic, and I put her in a box, and I put the, one of the guys in the box, and I That's vanished great. and made him disappear. And all the other guys, and they went on their date. So it was kind of like a segue into one of their dates. So it was cute. Oh, 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 yeah, it was cute. I mean, yeah, if I look back at all this stuff, I can't even remember all this stuff that I've done. And I'm not really good at that resume that, you know, putting all my stuff out there. But the variety of stuff that I was able to do so far in my life, I, I feel very fortunate. You know, mm -hmm. I feel very fortunate. Oh, it's, it's, it's you're amazing. You're really sort man. of like, you know, you're, the, the, you're like the, 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 the diplomat, the, the, the keeper of the torch, you know, teaching the next generation of magicians, really. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I People reaching out, a lot of the young guys, because the techniques that I learned was from my teacher, Slidini. If you watch the uh, YouTube uh, video yeah. of, of the show, I talk about my teacher, Slidini, in New York, and all my stuff is based in those. Uh, oh, very nice. Wow. Scott, you're on the ball, man. There he is, Slidini. Yeah, he's my teacher mentor, and uh, all my magic that I started to learn in the beginning, you know, early days, is his style, his his techniques, misdirection, timing, principles. He's a master of misdirection and timing, you know. Like, for instance, this is the coins he gave me for, like over 30 years ago, these silver half, uh, silver dollars. Wow. Yeah. So I have, look, uh, there's, uh, there's six. You can see there's three and three, right? Three and three. 
Yeah. Stop. He used to do stuff with a table, and he'd say, you think it's possible for the coins to go from one hand to the other hand without using a table? Just do the air. Watch. Watch the hands. Ready? One, two. Oh. Did you see him go? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's the stuff that I learned from him, that kind of stuff, you know. Wow. And then, that you know, I love sleight of hand because for me, I love sleight of hand for me is very important because if you can show the audience you put your time in, they'll come along with you. Because I do comedy magic when I do my stand up stuff, corporate shows. So it's a variety of audience participation. But I like to show technique up front to go, why this guy's got the chops, you know. For instance, I would do stuff with, uh, with cards, right? I would start off and do stuff with cards, with music. I would take cards and I would banish them like Jeez. this. And then I would make them reappear like this. Wow. Oh, wait, there's more. I forgot those. Don't forget what? those. Okay. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, you know, and it, it gets, oh, sorry. <laughs> And then, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on. Uh, what? Oh, hold on a second. What? Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> sorry. Hold on. It's too many. Let's get rid of those. Anyway, so. That's unbelievable. That's unbel I'm like, I'm, I have my face to the screen. I'm trying yeah. to see what's happening. I can't yeah, I love, I love sleight of hand. And it just, it keep, it's physical. You know, I'm a physical guy. I used to be a power lifter and bodybuilder years ago. Uh, magic right. to me is very special because it literally saved my life. My mentor got me back into magic. I got off, I got off uh, taking steroids and drugs, different kinds wow. of drugs. So I got back into magic. So to me, magic is just more than a career. It's really my life saving uh, gift that gift, uh, yeah. came to me. Came to me, you know. So I was very fortunate. Gift. I mean, the fact that you're able to teach the next generation, but also do like because there hasn't. You know, like, I feel like when we started to do magic on this platform, it truly connected all of us, regardless of where we were, yeah, what yeah. we were thinking, what happened that day. I mean, politics aside, it was something that we all could be like, what just happened here? <laughs> yeah. And have our mind completely blown. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, what I always say magic is like a mental vacation. People come and see magic. They have their, you know, they have this on their mind. This is happening. This is happening. I need to pay this. I need to do the magic just makes them stop thinking for yeah. a while. It's very meditative, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. It just stops the mind. And I love you it. could be like a kid again, which we forget how to do after all these years, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, we get so caught up in our everyday day little issues. But if we could just, oh my God, that's why you guys feel good when you see it. It's like, oh, you're forgetting everything. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mental vacation, you know. And that's free of charge. We don't charge extra for that. Tony, that's I gotta, I gotta pay my mortgage later. So could you keep going? Let me forget about it, please. Well, Scotty and I were like, we gotta do taxes. We gotta hey. do this. Oh, the taxes. Forget about it. This time of year, forget it. I know. You um, I know you you had said earlier that you had like a um a, a participation trick yeah you, wanted to you want to try it. one yeah okay. yeah let's do it we'll try one together uh let's see how much time do we have i'll, I'll hear it oh, yeah. it. no you know we're no time limit okay this is a mental trick and we'll have you both you guys do it now let me show you these first these are esp cards there's the uh, square the cross uh the circle the wavy lines and the star these are the basic esp cards so I'm going to put them down here on the table. I'm going to tilt this down just slightly so you can see a little bit on the table yeah. here. Um, I'm going to put them right here. I'm going to mix them up so nobody knows uh, where they are. Okay, I'm going to mix right. them up. Okay, great. Great camera too, Sue. Look oh, at this camera. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I, I, I bought it a recommendation of a friend, and it, it, it looks really good. Yeah, very so nice. Now, here I have – we have the five cards here, but I have five cards I previously placed here. Okay. So what's going to happen is one at a time, I'm going to pick up a card and we'll start with the uh, Suki. Here's a random card. Now you have a choice. You can have me put it in spot one, two, three, four, five. And I don't want to influence you in any way. Most people put it in three on the first one. <laughs> I don't want to influence you. I want to make it a free oh, no. choice. We, le we already learned, like people always say queen of hearts. And all <laughs> yeah, we right. learned them all. Right. So, then, so I don't want you to, I'm but you go put it in the three. I'm if go you five. wanted 
you could put it at three. It's up to you. Where would you like this first? I'm one? going five. I'm going five, Tony. <laughs> five. Okay, very good. Put it at five. Very nice. All right. So another totally random card. Scott, uh, this is yours. You have go, one, uh, two, three, four. Where would you like it? Uh, I'll go uh, three. I'm going to go with your three. See? That's always happening. <laughs> That's perfect. That's great. That's great. All right. So, Guy, we have another one. Random one. Where would you like it? You have uh, four, two, and uh, one. Lucky two. Oh, lucky two. Very nice. Excellent. And one more here. What do we have, uh, Scott? Uh, which one would you like this? One? Uh, one or four? four. Let's go with the four. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Okay. Now, Suki, this is like an extra bonus round. Obviously, there's only one spot left, but I'm going to give you a choice to change with any of these. I could switch it with two, three, four, five, or I could just put it in one. It's up to you. Uh, let's change it to three from three. Yes, to three. three. That's the one. <laughs> so don't you feel like he knows exactly what we're going to say <laughs> every Great time? Job. Like he does. <laughs> Great job. Now, what's cool is if I get matching maybe two or three, it's great. If we get four, it's even great. But let's see how we did. All right. How much of a connection we have. Ready? Let's see how we did. Stop oh, it. Oh, Jesus. Stop. No way. Perfect no way. Match. Come on. Come on. How's that you, possible? You guys are good. <laughs> you guys are good. Wow. Buddy, how did you do that? that oh, did my uh, camera just freeze? Yeah, I think so, Tom. A little bit you know what it is? Yeah. It's a heat issue. Oh, all right. We hear you I good. I learned that. Uh, hold on a second. Let me... Uh, Imaging edge webcam cut yeah. you off. Yeah, that's the that's the issue there. Hold on a second. All right. I might overheat again. I'm gonna switch cameras to unless that was your finale. Hold on, I'll take you out for a sec till I see it come up. Soup, that was in, that was insane. Let me tell you something. Tony has something else. I mean USA, USA TV, Monks, Fox TV's house MD, ABC. Oh, Sports. yeah, he's just Disney Channel, Sweet Life on Deck, John Malkovich, Nicolas Cage, Tony Shaloub. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. I mean, I mean, his resume is crazy. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's just, um, you know, when you do it for so many years like this, this camera's a little different. Hold on, this is the that was camera. yeah, it got it overheats, huh? Yeah, it's weird. This uh, this camera has an issue with overheating because I have it sitting above my other computer. But anyway, yeah. Um, that was amazing, Todd. Thank was, you, guys. I think, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, people can follow me on Instagram. I always put, put videos up. Yes, uh, good stuff. And what else is coming up? Uh, Wait, before before you go, what I see, I noticed you had big cards sitting there the whole time behind your left hand. Oh, yeah. You want to do what that? Are we, what do we do? Yeah, one more before you, you go. Love those okay. damn big cards. I swear to God. Every Scott time likes the big, big cards. Back, he's like, I want the big cards. Yeah, do something with the big ones. Okay, here we go. This is cool. Last one. Is a bit of a, kind of a connection to see how we connected today. Okay. I'm going to show you these cards. I want you to look at the values of the cards. Okay. Just look at the values, meaning is it a king? Is it a queen? Let me get the light out of there so you can see it. Good. There you go. Okay, so. Think of it, and remember one of the cards, queen of whatever, king of whatever, jack of whatever. Remember the value and the suit. You got it? Just pick one. Okay. Okay, you got one? Okay, good. I'm going to mix them up. I want you to think of it. I'm going to see if I could pull out uh, the one that maybe one of you is thinking of. That'd be okay. Great. Um, okay, I'm going to pull one out, put it away here. When I show you the cards, if your card is missing, say, wow. That's amazing. Right? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. That's Did amazing. you have King of Spades in your head? No, what? I had King. I don't know. I had King of Diamonds, I think. See? They're both missing, so. Oh, magic. <laughs> he took out one card and they were both missing. <laughs> that's crazy, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Get that. No, yeah. That's great. Tony, thank you so much, man. Thank you hey, so man. much. Hey, man. It's Clark Magic. Thank it's you. Amazing. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Uh, yeah, great. Magicstore.com, everybody. Thank you, guys. And uh, thank you for having me on. And continued success to you guys. You guys have you, fun. You too, bud. Thank you so much. Love to have you back again. Yeah, let's get to stay in touch. Thanks, Bye, guys. Tony. Take care, Tony. Take care, buddy. Bye, Bye. Bye, bud.